well. Uh, we were part of an immediate response team flying a Chinook aircraft in Afghanistan and we've been tasked to go and pick up six casualties from a landing site uh, where there was a firefight going on. We took the aircraft into the landing site and whilst we were on the ground we took some rounds to the aircraft and then after getting the casualties on board after a few minutes on the ground we lifted back to Camp Bastion and as we did so the aircraft took more enemy fire and one of the rounds actually came through and hit me on the helmet at the time and caused uh, facial injuries to myself. Um, but we were still able to recover the aircraft back to Camp Bastion and all six of the casualties actually survived. Uh, for a split second, I didn't actually know what had happened uh, until I, I looked in one of the mirrors we have on the aircraft so we could see what's going on down the back and I saw the, the injuries on my face. I then put two and two together very quickly and realised that I'd actually been hit but that I was still okay uh, and at that moment it was quite a feeling of elation because I, I just survived being shot essentially. So I told my crew and continued flying the aircraft because it had also been damaged. Uh, but we were able to still get back to the hospital and recover the casualties um, because the aircraft had, had taken the damage in its stride, really. They did all survive um, and I, there was never a doubt in my mind that we would get them back because even if anything had happened to me, I knew that my crew were perfectly competent, uh, as are all the crews out there, to go through exactly the same scenario and do the job even without me there.